Hello everyone, my name is Alex. I'm a lecturer of engineering here at Burnley College Sixth Form Centre and today we're going to be carrying out the activity called floating balls. What we're going to show you today is how we can use a hairdryer to make ping pong balls float. The learning outcome is that we can briefly describe and demonstrate the Coanda effect. Now before we start we need to mention that we'll be using a hairdryer that can get quite hot, especially if it doesn't have a cool setting and we don't want to melt or burn anything including ourselves, so please be careful. If your hairdryer doesn't have a cool air setting, you do need to take some breaks to make sure that the bowl you're using doesn't get too hot. Right, let's begin. So we just need two things for this experiment or demonstration. We need a hairdryer and we also need some ping pong balls. So, let's recap what we've done. When we use the air dryer, we can make the ball float in the air. Even when the ball was going all over the place, it still always wanted to come back to the middle of the stream. And when we used a slightly heavier ball, we could hold the ball at an angle and even push and pull the ball around. So we're gonna look at how this works and it's down to something called the Coanda effect. The Coanda effect tells us that the air coming out of the hair dryer won't just hit the ball and be deflected off, which a solid would do, uh, but it tells us because it's a fluid, it actually curls around the ball and is stuck to the surface or it follows the surface of the ball. So as the air comes out of the hair dryer, follows the surface of the ball, it's actually trapping it in a stream of air, it's not just lifting it up uh, from below, it's actually trapped in the air. It's the reason why even when it is quite turbulent and moves around, it wants to come back into the centre of the stream, so it's always getting pushed into the centre. It's also the reason why if I tilt the hair dryer, I can actually pull the ball along because it's being pushed into the centre of that stream. That obviously wouldn't work if it was just supporting it from underneath, um, but because it's trapped in that stream of air, that does work. Thank you all for watching and we hope you're enjoying this year's Science and Technology Festival. Don't forget to share your photographs and videos on our Facebook page and just to add, by doing so you are giving us permission to repost them. We hope to see you again next year.